learning objectives after completing this digital module learners will be able to understand at a particular price level the aggregate demand for final goods equals aggregate supply of the final goods learn that the instance of an investment company valuing a stock and then comparing the predicted results to the actual movement of the stock's price is called ex ante analysis understand that the marginal propensity to consume is the fraction of total additional income which people use for consumption understand that in theory of determination of output or income all variables are planned ex ante variables learn that a shift in the demand curve displays changes in demand at each possible price owing to change in one or more non price determinants learn that the movement in demand curve occurs along the curve whereas the shift in demand curve changes its position due to the change in the original demand relationship understand that a shift in demand curve occurs due to the changes in the determinants other than price for example the things that determine buyers demand for a good rather than goods price understand that if there is change in values of autonomous consumption or in autonomous investment it will cause change in equilibrium output and aggregate demand learn that many governments in developed nations have been introducing fiscal austerity programs cutting spending the lifting taxes in a bid to lower their budget deficits ex ante and ex post the ex ante and ex post measures the ex ante is a latin word which means that one needs to look at future events based on possible predictions an example of ex ante analysis is when an investment company values a stock ex ante and then compares the predicted results to the actual movement of the stock's price the ex post is another latin word which means that one needs to look at results and events after they have occurred companies attain ex post data to forecast future earnings the ex ante consumption and investment the ex ante consumption expenditure refers to planned or desired consumption expenditure of households the consumption function is represented by c is equal to c bar plus b y where c bar indicates autonomous consumption that is consumption expenditure when income is zero b shows marginal propensity to consume or mpc and y stands for level of income the marginal propensity to consume or mpc is the fraction of total additional income which people use for consumption we can get it by subtracting the marginal propensity to save mps fraction from 1 ex ante investment expenditure refers to planned investment expenditure of private firms the investment demand refers to private planned or ex ante investment expenditure by the firms again it should be kept in mind that in theory of determination of output or income all variables are planned ex ante variables the ex ante aggregate demand for final goods in a two sector economy of the household and firm the ex ante aggregate demand or ad for final goods is the sum total of ex ante consumption expenditure or c and ex ante investment expenditure i on the final goods that is an economy gets in equilibrium phase when the aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply that is ad is equal to as movement along a curve versus shift of a curve movement along a curve the movement along the demand curve 
depicts the change in both the factors that is the price and quantity demanded from one point to another the movement along the curve can be in any of the two directions a upward movement which indicates contraction of demand in a sense a fall in demand is observed due to price rise b downward movement which shows expansion in demand that is demand for the product or service goes up because of the fall in prices shift of a curve a shift in the demand curve displays changes in demand at each possible price owing to change in one or more non price determinants such as the price of related goods income taste and preferences and expectations of the consumer the demand curve shifts in any of the two sides one rightward shift which represents an increase in demand due to the favorable change in non price variables at the same price two leftward shift which is an indicator of a decrease in demand when the price remains constant but owing to unfavorable changes in determinants other than price key differences between movement and shift in a demand curve the movement in demand curve occurs along the curve whereas the shift in demand curve changes its position due to the change in the original demand relationship again the movement along a demand curve takes place when the changes in quantity demanded are associated with the changes in the price of the commodity but a shift in demand curve occurs due to the changes in the determinants other than price that is things that determine buyers demand for a good rather than goods price the short run fixed price analysis of the product market aggregate demand curve at a fixed price the value of x ante aggregate demand for final goods that is ad has been equal to the sum of total x ante consumption expenditure and the investment expenditure under the effective demand principle the equilibrium output of the final goods is equal to x ante aggregate demand the vertical axis represents the price level of all final goods and service the aggregate price level is measured by either the gdp deflator or the cpi the horizontal axis represents the real quantity of all goods and services purchased as measured by the level of real gdp autonomous change on equilibrium demand in the product market the equilibrium output and aggregate demand at fixed price and constant interest rate is derived by solving the equation y is equal to a oblique l minus b clearly value of y will depend on values of a that is c and l and b that is mpc thus if there is change in values of c that is autonomous consumption or i autonomous investment it will cause change in equilibrium output and aggregate demand when autonomous investment increases ad1 line shifts upward and assumes the position of a2 line which intersects 45 degree line at e2 making it a new equilibrium point thus e1f measures the amount of excess demand the new equilibrium values of output and aggregate demand are om2 and m2 e2 respectively they are greater than their initial values because of investment multiplier effect multiplier mechanism many governments in developed nations have been introducing fiscal austerity programs cutting spending and lifting taxes in a bid to lower their budget deficits if the multiplier is 0.5 then an initial government expenditure reduction of 1% of gdp reduces real output by 0.5% summary let us summarize what we have learned consumption usually denotes what people had planned to consume during the same period similarly investment means the amount a producer plans to add to their inventory since consumption is the complement of savings 
as the additional income of the economy is either put into additional savings or used for extra consumption by the people. If we subtract the marginal propensity to save from one, we get the marginal propensity to consume. Aggregate demand for final goods consists of ex ante consumption, ex ante investment, government spending, etc. The rate of increase in ex ante consumption due to a unit increment in income is called marginal propensity to consume. Investment is defined as addition to the stock of physical capital such as machines, buildings, roads, etc. That is, anything that adds to the future productive capacity of the economy and changes in the inventory or the stock of finished goods of a producer. If quantity supplied is either in excess of or falls short of quantity demanded at this price, price will change because of excess supply or demand. The rate of increase in ex ante consumption due to a unit increment in income is called marginal propensity to consume. For simplicity, we assume a constant final goods price and constant rate of interest over short run to determine the level of aggregate demand for final goods in the economy. And in